Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is how to fix your tech. Now today I thought I'd do a video on how to fix a power supply. Now, this computer's been operating for about two years now and the power supply is finally cactus. So we're gonna be replacing it. Now, uh, as I said today, well, as I kind of said, today marks two years of actually building this PC on this day, which is August 15th. 2022 so uh, I thought you know we've got the power supply of the day that I built it two years later so we may as well put it in the day two years later but anyway until then it's time for the intro Now before we started, I thought I'd mention that I'm going to put a video on the cards on how to test your power, to power supply without uh, using a multimeter. Um, it does go on to using a multimeter, but that's only if you pass the first test, which is putting a wire in the green and black uh, cable and 24 pin and turning it on. Now I'm not going to say anything, go and watch the video if you want to actually figure it out because they go through everything. Uh, and they also go into the step if your power supply does work if you do that. They also go into the next steps and the next steps to go and uh, and they tell you how to test it with a multimeter. But anyway, today we're going to be replacing it with a Corsair CV550, so it is a uh, 550 watt power supply. Uh, we could have gone with the 500 watt power supply by Corsair, virtually the same thing, uh, but it had a pre-order, so I think it was the best idea going with this one, considering it wasn't even that much more expensive anyway. Now it's a bit of an upgrade, it's got black sleeve cables. None of this stuff, uh, like black sleeve, sleeve cables, not mum and dad care about. Uh, but something they might care about is it's got 80 plus bronze instead of just 80 plus. So, uh, unlike the other one in there already, it's only 80 plus and quality is not as good as Corsair's uh, quality considering it's already got 80 plus bronze instead of 80 plus. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get on to doing it. Uh, actually putting it in and removing the old one. But first off, we are going to be doing it in more real time than uh, the other videos, just because it's a quick job anyway. And uh, yeah, I guess the video when I made the PC was in real time as well, so why the hell not? Anyway, uh, there we go, let's, let's keep on going. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the thumb screws from the front panel. The cityscape by night, wanna catch my photos, where you go? Every corner twice as bright, there'll be my treasures forever. All right, put the thumb screws aside somewhere where they won't get in the way, as well as the acrylic or glass panel. Especially if it's glass, you wanna put it somewhere, uh, somewhere a bit better. Now, as you can see, not really, but yeah, it is there, it is undone. We've already undone the 24 pin connector, so uh, yeah. But I'll plug it in and go through removing that as well later. So now let's move on to the other side. All right, this is where you remove the two thumb screws on the back. Set them aside as well. Then you just have to, uh, depending on the case, it might be a harder pull than normal, but uh, don't worry, you shouldn't really find a way to break this, hopefully. Uh, so you just have to pull it back. I can tell you my PC case is a lot harder to take the back panel off than this one, but it's still easy enough done, especially when the clips aren't bent and you've unbent them, but yeah. All right, now we're gonna uh, focus on taking the power supply screws. Now, unfortunately, the light is a bit hard to see stuff, but there's a screw here, a screw here, a screw here, oh, sorry, here, and a screw here. Can't even see with my own eyes, great one. <laughs> Alrighty, let's move to the front again and un undo uh, and unclip some of the connectors and push them through. Alright, so the uh, we have in the front, we have a connector here, 
and a connector all the way up here. Unfortunately, I've disconnected that one as well, but for the purpose of the video, I'll connect it again for you. Okay, now that we have some light so we can actually see in the computer, uh, I can explain that all we need to take off is this one and this one up here. So the first one we need to take off is the 24 pin here. So this one actually takes quite a lot of a tug. I've undone it slightly because I haven't basically been able to put it back on properly because I haven't been bothered to because, well, we're only taking it down anyway. But you just have to push that little tab on the side here and pull it out. There's this bit that comes first as well, so it splits. So even with the um, even with the clip slightly taken off, it's still hard. There we go. And up the top here should be a bit, a bit easier. You know that there's a tab on the top. There's also this bit here. And there we go. All right. Uh, if you have any problems with that, comments are there. Uh, all we have to do now is push them through. Now these, these aren't the last connectors we need to take off that lead to the power supply, so don't go targeting at it yet. Alright, now let's move to the back. Again. Now those two cables at the front are essential, but at the back it might be a different story. Like you might have an M.2 SSD and that's it. You might have a, a SATA SSD, M.2 SSD, two hard drives, whatever. And you may even in our case have a Molex connector leading to uh, the fan. So, basically what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to disconnect them all that are leading to the power supply. So, just investigate. Uh, if your power supply has uh, rainbow spaghetti like mine, it should be easier to identify which cables go to um, uh, components in the computer and also go to the power supply. Uh, so, once you've done figuring that out, and also comments are there again, uh, then you can go ahead and unplug them. So I'll just go the Molex first. Uh, I haven't undone one of these for quite a while, but that seems easy enough. And uh, there's also a one of those twisty tire things as well. So we'll take that off. Uh, there we go. And we've got a SATA power plug up here. That just comes out, no clips required. Uh, now we want to take off more twisty ties in this case, hopefully not cable ties in your case, but if so, you might want to get a bit of a pair of side cutters standby. Uh, but these are just twisty ties, luckily, because I've thought ahead. Um, and also, they don't bother me if, if they don't look as good at the back. And uh, we just want to take off all our power supply cables that are tied to the computer. Alright. Now, you might have a couple cables get in the way, if so. Just try and shimmy them out of the way. These are front panel I.O. connectors, but oh well. Oh well. There we go. Alright, now, if you've done all the steps successfully, we should be all good. Now, all you have to do is, in this case, we just have to... Not pun intended, by the way. Uh, we just have to push the power supply in, turn it around again, Grab all our cables, and again, yes, get them out of the way if you need to. Just move that closer. Get the big 24 pin through. And we need to pull it out. More cables in the way. And luckily, being the right power supply for the job, it should just slide out pretty easily. <laughs> Luckily this one's giving us a battle with cables, but here we go. There's the power supply. All right. Now I just smelt it. Doesn't smell like an electrical fire in there, luckily, <laughs> uh, but I reckon it's definitely cooked. Uh, anyway, there's our power supply. Now I can put this aside, give the inside a bit of a clean. Uh, this is something I'll time lapse because who cares? No one needs to see it being cleaned in real time. And we'll prep our, our new power supply, which means unboxing it. when you, uh, if you move the case without power supply in it, the, the power supply pretty much takes up all the weight. Uh, but that doesn't not matter because hopefully you're about to put a new one back in it. 
anyway, so this is a Corsair one, bit better quality, uh, nicer, nicer made, um, and will fit straight in. But anyway, let's just unbox it. I'm just gonna use a screwdriver because I haven't got time to get a knife. That is, that is stretching my boundary. <laughs> totally. Now we just got this power supply PC case gear for quite a reasonable price. We did pay for express shipping, but that was just because we wanted it quickly. Because, uh, as you might know, Dad actually does spend a bit of time on the computer and it's for important stuff and entertainment. I couldn't say the same thing, <laughs> to be quite honest, unfortunately, but oh well, she'll be right. It's not like I really want to do work. Alright, now we just have to... Set this up. Get the safety information. Uh, and... Here we go, a new plug, may as well use it. Silicon thing, don't need it. Be a bit of a stupid idea. And here's our power supply. Got some extra screws here. May as well leave them in the box unless your screws are hacked. Uh, gotta love the smell of a power supply. Not, but I could smell it without even trying. So, I guess I gotta say it then. I guess. And here we go. Now this is just an ATX one, so it'll fit just fine. As you can see, uh, when I bring it over, it's actually, I think, a little bit shorter. But, oh, there we go. If we bring it up here, it's actually a bit shorter. But, that's never a bad thing. That just means more space for your cables. Uh, so, good job, Corsair. That'll fit straight in the computer. It's only width that matters because it's got to screw in somehow. Uh, but here we go. All right, now I'll get the case back up and ready. Now what you have to do is you have to uh, obviously take off another uh, whatever these are. I've said them a million times before and I can't remember it now. Uh, anyway, twist tie, I guess <laughs> you could call it for sure. Um, just roll these out. Now, uh, what we want to do here is we want to get this camera ready. We want to, uh, I noticed this tab, uh, the power supply when I put in didn't go anywhere close to this tab. So these cables, I want to pull them up till they about, till they kind of hang down at the tab. So there we go. And that gives us access to just slide this unit right in with no worries. Now, that's when you find out that you put it upside down. So, <laughs> so you turn it around. Glad I, no glad I noticed that immediately. We all make mistakes. Uh, but, well, I didn't exactly make one, but I could have probably looked at that before. Anyway, that's a good way to teach you guys to put it the right way up. Um, and there we go. All right, now we'll look at the back again, and we will go ahead and screw it in. All right, this is where you want to align it. So it's fairly easy. In fact, very easy, I've got it already. Now you want to get your screws and maneuver them around a the camera in this case. <laughs> Ah uh, well, she'll be right for the video. Now you want to do it, screw it in uh, in a star pattern because that applies even pressure to all corners. Well, that's all talked in there. Uh, and now we'll go around to the side again and start managing our cables. Now for convenience, I've left all my zip ties and um, not zip ties, uh, twist ties uh, in there where in the points where they already were. So everything should just go in perfectly. Now uh, we have some SATA cables over here. Um, and we also have some Molex. Thankfully, I was looking for that. I was like, oh, <laughs> great. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, no one uses Molex, so if they didn't put it in, fair enough. Uh, and we also have uh, PCIe, so that's like um, uh, graphics. Wait, let me have a look. This is graphics card here, yep. I had to think about that, PCIe. We don't need that in this 
computer, but most people will. We have our 24 pin and our CPU here. All right, uh, basically all we're gonna do is I'm gonna do the CPU first because uh, why not? Gotta, gotta start somewhere. Uh, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go up through here. Put it, I'm gonna put it through first. Um, and then I will start tying it up. I might just, I might just go in here because it is quite possible doing that. Now, I won't bother plug it in yet because it should stay there just fine. Now we're going to get um, a 24 pin. It's always a bit daunting when you're doing a build, especially for the first time when you see all these cables. And it is nice to have uh, one of those ones that you don't need to actually, um, you, that you can unplug ones you don't need. I can't remember the name right now. It's been a while since I've done this sort of stuff. Hands on instead of just doing tutorials that, yeah, I've pretty, made it pretty clear that they're boring. <laughs> they're boring, but uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, so. This one, we can go in here. All right, now we have our Molex over here. Now I'm gonna reroute this up to here because um, I can, and that just makes sense. So I'm gonna plug the Molex in first, so it's just, we just have a look. And it's just this goes into the ones with pins and you just plug it in like that and then you just tie it up all right now we got SATA uh, which is like on the Molex connector so we just have enough room to go there so uh, if we line it up properly we should just be able to use it And there we go. Now, as I said, we're not using a graphics card, so that'll be about all the cables we need. Uh, obviously, yes, it does apply to other people, uh, differently to other people. Uh, I'll have, I probably, wipe, this isn't complete behind here, so don't, freak out at the atrocious mess I've probably, you probably think I made. I'm just gonna stuff them in here for now. We're gonna turn it around. And we're gonna plug them in. So our, tw our 24 is here. So we are going to wanna flip it around because this is how it goes. Uh, it isn't a splitter cable it seems, but that's fine. Not required to be. And this is why I like twist ties because they allocate you more room if you need it. So, there we go. All right, there we go. Now you have to push it in. And this is hard, but until it clicks. There we go, it didn't really click for me, but it is in because the tab is over that little notch in the motherboard pin connector. All right, now up, up the top, I'll just make sure you can see. There we go. It's as easy as flip, uh, not losing it. <laughs> it's as easy as flipping it over. Well, easy as is a bit of an understatement. It's not that easy, but you have to flip it over so that the uh, little clip is on the top of the connector and you plug it in just like that. There we go. All right, and just pull it back. Awesome. Now for us, that is it, but you're probably gonna have a graphics card as well. I have got a video on how to uh, upgrade or something like that, your graphics card, and that will include uh, the PCIe connector plugging in. Uh, and if you just want to uh, find a video on how to specifically specifically plug in your PCIe connector, 
I'm sure that's on the internet as well. Uh, I'll put the, my video in the cards. All right, now we want to turn it around again and, oh, not hit the speakers, and we want to just do a little bit more. Uh, this is personal preference, so I will time it. being overly confident on anything so I'm just gonna leave the back panel and front panel off uh, just at the start but uh, we're gonna get the computer set up uh, the desk set up uh, as much as we need and we'll have a look <laughs> Luckily, uh, now with uh, testing a power supply, unlike other things where you need to check for display, uh, testing a power supply is, does it turn on, does it not? So, we're gonna turn the, flip the switch. Nothing should happen when we flip the switch, so, uh, it's already flipped. <laughs> and we're gonna test it, so three, two, one. And there we go, dead power supply. I'm very glad it was. Uh, so it concludes that test was proper, properly done. Uh, but anyway, now we're going to slap the panels back on uh, and we're going to conclude this tutorial. And remember, your back panel might be a bit hard to put on for the first couple times, so yeah. Alrighty everyone, so that's how you replace the power supply. Now I hope you liked the video, I sure enjoyed making it a bit more. Unfortunately for a channel like mine, it's not really realistic to be able to be hands on all the time. But when I can be, I want to record it. So, here we go. Uh, hands on as in doing stuff to actual computers, not touching a keyboard and showing you how to do boring stuff with OBS Studio. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Like and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you in another video.